Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the At Oz Volley YouTube channel. You are here joining us wherever you may be in the world. Welcome. We are here at Mollymook Beach in the Shoalhaven Council area of southern New South Wales coastline. It is magnificent. Bright sunshine and we've got a bronze medal match in the women's elite division coming your way. It's going to be the number four seeds, Nikki Laird and Jess Namo, taking on the number two seeds of Georgia Johnson and Jasmine Fleming. Both teams lost their semi-finals narrowly and they find themselves battling it out for bronze here in Molly Mook. Needless to say, with only one medal on offer, both teams are going to be looking to hit the podium. As they just take their final service practices and Georgia Johnson there just serving an absolute ripper. I think she might want to save that one. And Benny Abbott will be down courtside with a couple of the athletes with a little pre-game interview, such as our new way of doing things here in Australia. They warm up and then they get the chance to share a little bit of love with you guys out there and maybe some tactics if you're lucky or just some personality. As we mentioned, Nick, Nikki Laird and Jess Namo missed the Cobram event, but that's really, really good to see them back here on the sand. And, and Georgia Johnson and Jasmine Fleming teaming up, the Queensland pair, the number two seeds, they'll be looking to go a little better than they did at Cobram themselves. So as we make our way down to the man on the sand, down to Molly Mook, we'll cross now to Benny Abbott, who has Nikki Laird ready to go. Ready, Nam? We're going, guys. All right, we're well, live on YouTube. YouTube. Sorry about that. Cool. cool. Nikki Laird, Laird. Welcome, welcome back to the Australian, Australian Volleyball Tour. Tour. How good to be good back in Molly Mook. So good to be back on the Australian Tour, and Molly Mook's a beautiful place to be for our first event. Very, very thankful being here. Uh, team up with Jess and Arlo. First time you guys have played together, is it? It's our first time in a long time. We played together in 2017. Um, so, yeah, it's been quite a few years. Awesome. Well, good luck for the bronze medal. All the best. We're taking on these guys here. Going to have a chat to George now. Good luck. We'll introduce you shortly. Georgia Johnson. Jump on over and have a quick yard to you as well. Oh, sorry. Not ready. Here we go. Welcome, Georgia. Queensland born. Uh, ready to go against two of the powerhouses of the country. You've obviously had a few sessions against them. Feeling good? Yeah, feeling really good. We've... Um, Came out of Cobram, we were a little bit disappointed with our result in Cobram, so um, we've been training hard the last two weeks and super excited to finish it off this week. Awesome. Loving the energy so far. Good luck for the bronze medal match. Thanks, Brad. I'll take the microphone back. We're ready to go here very shortly. First serve for the bronze medal match. Women's Elite Competition. Throw it back to you, Chono, in the commentary booth. Thank you very much, Benny. Awesome work down there with a couple of the star athletes of not only our sport but the country as well. Nikki Laird has found herself almost the, uh, the long-serving stalwart of women's beach volleyball now. And uh, Georgia Johnson, certainly a, an athlete on the rise. Both teams just going to chat a couple of little extra tactics and get some more hydration in before they take the court to battle it out for the bronze. The number two seeds, Georgia Johnson and Jasmine Fleming taking on the number four seeds, Nikki Laird and Jess Namo. Our first referee, Kevin Nguyen, is going to make his way up the stand. And our second referee, Rebecca, she's going to be helping with proceedings out here on the centre court of Molly Milk. You would have seen at the back of Benny there in the interviews, a brilliantly stunning green backdrop with a nice natural amphitheatre and uh, tiered seating up on the grass there. It's starting to fill up nicely on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. So if you can't be here, why not be on YouTube watching it from wherever you are? Certainly give us a like and a follow and a comment as well if you can support your favourite athlete and tell us where you're from and watching from anywhere in the world. We are live across the World Wide Web on YouTube at AusVolley, A-U-S Volley. Spread the word, spread the love as we welcome the teams out on court any moment now, you see that, you see those flags really, really starting to pick up some, some tension with the wind out there, and 
Speaking of building tension, Benny Abbott is the best at it. g up the crowd and getting some hands and pumping her out as Jess Namo is welcomed out on the court in front of the Molly Mook faithful. Her partner is going to be Nikki Laird, 29 years old. She just had a birthday. Happy birthday, Nikki. Bronze medal at the ABC Continental Cup with Beck Palmer, one of her former partners. And Nikki, obviously a Rio Olympian with Maria Fay in 2016. Jess has got a bunch of World Tour results and tournaments and events under her belt with her former partner, Phoebe Bell, who we'll see in the gold medal match coming up soon. And they all obviously played in Japan, Switzerland, China, Malaysia, and obviously home soil here in Australia. And as Georgia Johnson, one of the crowd favourites, taking the court now. And she is a bronze medalist with, again, Phoebe Bell at the 2001 Asian Champs. Bronze medalist at the Queensland Open with her current partner, Jasmine Fleming, who is coming out right now. And that was in Malulaba. They finished fifth in Cobram just two weeks ago. So they are going to be relishing the fact that they're going to be battling it out for their first medal chance of the summer and certainly have already gone at least one better than their previous. So they'll be looking to continue to ride those waves. And here at Mollymook, the waves are coming in. The surfers are out there. The nippers are out of the water and joining us on the hill now. And it's about to go down. Johnson with the first honours of the first serve. Nice hands from Nikki. Big swing from Jess Namo. Great defence. Johnson. Can she go and back it up again? Off pace hit. Out stretched. Couldn't get it done. I am super excited to see the defensive battle turned into power spike battle between Georgia Johnson and Jess Namo. I think they're power-packed units, fairly well matched. Jess with maybe just a little bit more experience. But I tell you what, this is going to be an absolute rip snorter of a bronze medal. As we touched on, conditions out here are quite warm and sunny, which is always nice and not unusual for beach volleyball, quite obviously. In a summer sport, and we saw Jess Namo almost flat in the sand on serve reception and then launched herself up to hit that winner. Nicely done, cross court. And the offshore breeze is forming some half decent waves out there. These two teams look to cause some waves for each other as opponents with that easterly breeze coming across the court. No end seems to be at a complete advantage at the moment as the wind is coming across the court. Net infringement from Jasmine Fleming, pointed out by our second referee, Rebecca. I'll just update our scoreboard with a scoreline of 3-1 going the way the number four seeds at the moment. Much like the men's elite program or men's elite competition rather, it is the top four teams in the semi, oh, sorry, in the medal matches. The top four teams are in the medal matches. So the seedings are, uh, are almost spot on. So congratulations to our officiating crew up there in the nest, the wombat in the wombat's nest. Getting the seedings right, full stretch, both athletes and Jasmine. Jasmine's there saying, I'm not getting that one. Conserve your energy, Fleming, of course. Change in tactics. Let's see what the uh, change brings about for the girls in pink. And the ladies in yellow, Fleming and Johnson have changed sides. Hello, everybody out there in YouTube world. Nice bump set back at the action on the actual sand. <laughs> oh, and in the sand is Georgia Johnson again. She spends more time than Nam Pham in a bunker trap in a golf course because Nam is not good at golf. But these girls are good. 
at Beach Volleyball. So we're back in the action. Change of end, seven points done and dusted. Laird and Namo leading five points to two. Also known as 6-1, according to our new scoreboard, as the ball comes in over and it's a replay. Don't see too many of them these days. Our court divisions and our faithful ball kids who are somewhat missing at the moment. Jump float from Laird, sends it long. Two serving six. Oh, nicely done. Draws the block, hits it over on two. The one-foot approach maybe just got the defender slightly wrong-footed, thinking she might cut it back to the left, but goes the percentage play and hits the vacant court. Back out to a five-point lead. Namo crouches, loads up, jump float. Finds none of the court. Game of inches out here on the sand. Oh, what a step back inside. She looked to load up a little wider from the setter, but stepped back in to open up an angle. Didn't even bother about the block. She was no trouble. Just had to beat the one defender and she was done in dusted. Led back with it. Oh, and she's done it. Ace, single fist pump, and then just checks up to the first referee to confirm. Kevin Newen. One of the young guns on the stands, in the sand. Getting one of his first medal match honours here on the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. Nice connection from Nikki on the serve. Big block. Not quite a kill shot, but effective enough nonetheless. They hit double figures. Ten points. Lead by seven. Jump float. Finds the net. And that'll have us changing ends. Going to be Johnson and Fleming to your broadcast side as they chat tactics just in front of the camera. Georgia Johnson in the... She's got darker hair and a blue visor. She's going to be serving up. And her partner, lighter hair and a black visor at the net with the block. That's Jasmine. Oh, catches that one high on the platform, almost on the shoulder of Nikki Laird as she bumps it over on that third touch. Little... Too much on that bump set, but they're still alive. Can't quite get that one over from Jasmine Fleming. That initial touch from the bump set of Jasmine might have just got a little too, too keen and drifted into the Nikki Laird block and found themselves on the back foot after a good serve. Oh, great serve from Jess Namo. Now she's at the far end. You can actually see her. Otherwise, she's under the camera angle. And we'll go to a quick timeout with Nikki Laird and Jess Namo leading 12 points to four. You're watching YouTube at Oz Volley, our channel here. It's live beach volleyball action. This is currently the men, sorry, the women's bronze medal match. We saw Tommy Hodges and Maxi Gura win the bronze medal earlier in the men's. And after this women's bronze will be the men's gold at 1 p.m. and the women's gold at 2 p.m. here live on YouTube at AUS Volley. So send out a text, copy the link, get all your mates on board. Well, you can join us here live at Molly Mook. We love it. Such a beautiful backdrop. New South Wales government and the Shoalhaven Shire have done a magnificent job working with Volleyball Australia to get this up and running. Oh, nice block from Laird. 
Again, just a little overcooked on that bump set. Now, whether it's whether it's just the uh, the tension of a metal match or the conditions swirling around a little, we shall see. Maybe a change in tactic. Nice serve from Namo again. Yeah, that ball bumped off the net, blocked by Laird. Can she do it again? No, she can't. Georgia Johnson jumping out of the sand and putting it down with authority. Oh, Jasmine Fleming turns it down the line again. What a ripper. Now they're hitting their straps, the young girls in magenta. Tech time out from that service error, and we will join Jasmine, Georgia, Nikki, and Jess again in just a moment. Kevin Ewan is not only in control of this game out here with the athletes, but he's bringing the crowd along with him. Those dense little hips from our first referee. Getting the crowd involved at Molly Mook, thanks to Benny Abbott on the decks. Nicely done. And we've got ourselves, Nikki, Jess, Jasmine and Georgia back out here on court. This is the bronze medal match. 14-7, the way of Nikki and Jess, the former with the serve. Drops down on Georgia Johnson's platform. Had her stuck. Eight point lead now. He pumps the top of that service action as Jasmine gets the top of the block. He goes wide. Nice hands from Jess on the set. Nikki going a nice angle. Almost seemingly turning it back into the block. Maybe she had a look and saw that the defender was quite wide and the set was a little shorter than what the block had set up. And just found that angle nicely and did it fairly easily in the end. Still back out to an eight-point lead. Namo crouching, hunting on the serve. Dropping it on Johnson. She passes beautifully, though. Brings it down, and somehow Jess Namo's got the defensive up. And Nikki's, Nikki was surprised to see it coming back at her as well. But Johnson, fantastic swing. She works her angles, and what a great pass. Jasmine Fleming had a good bump set as well, and now she's got the service chance. Down the line and in the corner. What a ripper. Jasmine John. Jasmine Fleming and Georgia Johnson. Stringing a couple together. We're going to have to do a few more of them. As the number two seeds find themselves on the wrong side of a six-point deficit. 
Nice set. Another step inside. This time goes hard and heavy cross court. Nikki Laird. Just Namo, out of shot, but makes her way to the ball and then back to her favourite spot for her service. Might send this one cross-court into that wind. Ooh, but then swings back toward the line. Fleming with the chance. She goes knuckles and just wide. She's a tall girl, Jasmine. She's, she's about 183 centimetres, so six foot in the old. Nikki's clearly taller. I think he's about six two three. I'm sure she'll correct me or I'll get some hate mail for it. But uh, she's a dominant force at the net. But she's got a couple of young upstarts challenging her. That's right. We're just correcting it. So yeah, double thumbs on the replay. Thumbs up for beach volleyball. We do love that. We just got a slight discrepancy in our uh, service. But our f officials, ever professional, have got things sorted. Or at the very least, just saying, when are we getting to come back to Mollymore? Oh, this place is awesome. A change in server. Maybe a change in fortune for Jasmine and, and Georgia. Jump float from Laird. Nice pass, Jasmine. Good bump set. A little tight, but claims the block of Nikki Laird as she goes up. Jasmine Johnson. Jasmine Fleming, my apologies. The alliteration out here is too tempting. Ah, uh, there she is. She got a chance to show off her prowess at the net. Jasmine Fleming, 183 centimetres. Huge block as they go to a timeout with Laird and Namo leading Fleming and Johnson, 19-11. We, after this tournament, we turn our attention to the Australian Junior Beach Tour, which is going to be taking place on March 1-3 to 3 at Manly Beach. And nominations have been extended to Monday the 21st, which is only tomorrow, so get them in. Same goes for the senior tour. The Australian Beach Volleyball Tour will be held at Manly from the 4th to the 6th, so directly after the junior tournament. The main draw, the seniors, 4th to the 6th. And you can check out the action of the medal matches. SBS On Demand for the women's bronze at 11.30. And the men's bronze at 12.30 on Sunday the 6th for the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. And then live on SBS, on that funny box you call the television, it's going to be the women's match and then the men's match straight after. Nice spot on defence. Just overcooks it but puts it in a good spot. And Namo outreaches Fleming. Get the little pokey out. Knuckles it over the top. And a 19-12 scoreline as we just update our graphics. Apologies if there was any confusion. Nice set from Johnson. Catching uh, Namo just a little out of position. Great spot, but just uh, maybe in the contortion of her body, couldn't quite control it. And Fleming, not only with the spike, she's got herself a serve. Six points to make up what she got. Top spin. Almost splits the middle. Oh, nicely done from Fleming. Basically all off her own bat. She's flying through the air. Princess Jasmine on a magic carpet ride. In a bronze medal match, finding herself in a whole new world.
Can she get the block again? Jump serve to block. Doing it all herself. Princess Jasmine again. The young upstarts are on the march. Seated number two. They're not going to like being on the wrong side of the ledger. Another jump serve from Fleming. Catches the net and the passer too high on the chest and shoulder. And it's a shank and a change of ends. Three-point ball game. Change of ends has brought about a change in serve and a change in result going the way of Namo and Led. And it's going to be one of the gals in gold <laughs> as we sort out our service rotation again. Set point 2016. Jess Namo's got the honour. She has the honour of handing the ball to Nikki Led. To serve. Nice serve. Overpass. Two ball attack. Nikki and Jess get it done in fine style. 21 16. The first set going the way of the number four seeds in the women's elite bronze medal match. Back here on centre court at Molly Mook. Second set, Jess Namo picking up where she left off with an ace serve straight down the middle. Jess, the 26-year-old, plenty of world tour event experience teaming up with Nikki, 29-year-old. Fairly new pairing with these two, Nikki and Jess. They teamed up a few years ago now. For the first time. And between that time, they found themselves with different partners. And since a few people leaving and uh, retiring and whatnot, this is, this is their best chance. And they find themselves back here in the sand of Molly Mook for the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. Round number two. No one going along. Both of these teams, of course, finding themselves on the wrong side of a semi-final loss, but they've always got the chance to win the bronze. That's why we like this game. Well, it's a very interesting start to this here second set. There's four points and four errors. So let's see if we can uh, bring these girls back to a standard that you are accustomed to watching. Howdy doody, everybody. I am Jonathan Cannon. Thank you for your joining us here. It's just thrown straight up on the screen. But that one's getting thrown straight over the back of the block. 
Yes, Namo. Served an ace to kick things off, but caused the communication error, hence why we've had four errors to start. But she's hit the first winner of this here second set. Georgia and Jasmine at full stretch. If that goes over, I'll eat my hat. Very, very close. Both these teams having a uh, fairly decent run into this game. Nikki and Jess troubled only by two set matches. They won their first three, the first round, the second round, and the quarterfinal in fairly straightforward fashion. And then a little bit more of a battle royale, but a straight set's loss nonetheless in a... Woohoo! Georgia Johnson going whackety whack whack. Uh, that semi final loss. Phoebe and Steph will be up next, or later today, I should say, rather, in the gold medal match. And Georgia and Jasmine, a couple of three-setters, and their quarterfinal win, even though it was in straight sets, was a little tighter than expected as well. So maybe a little bit more beach volleyball under their belt in this tournament at least. They've got young legs, though, so I'm sure they'll be fine as Fleming reaches in for a cross-court block but gets tooled off the top. Nice pass from Fleming. Great bump set off the top of the block again, returning the favour. That's Jasmine Fleming. I mentioned it at the very, very start of the game or the warm-up that I was very excited to see Namo and Johnson go head-to-head -head on defence transition to attack. But we haven't quite been able to see that just yet. So the tactics have not necessarily allowed that. I'm sure we'll see it soon. Maybe just a sneaky one there. Oh, here we go. Can she crank? Can she ever? Nicely done, just outstretched of the Namo hand. Maybe I do know a couple of things that I want to talk about. <laughs> Johnson and Namo, nice work. Right on cue almost, but it's Fleming to tie things up. Five all. Top spin into the wind. Namo deals with it nicely. Fleming the chance to attack, but a little too tight again on that bump set from Johnson. Getting her all tied up in the net. Crucial touches, especially when you've got, you know, a really tall athletic attacker in Fleming to give her the best opportunity. Get it out of the net. And certainly get, get it out of the Nicky Laird block. Laird and Namo hit the lead, 6-5. Maybe it's the conditions, maybe it's the late stages, maybe it's the nerves, but this has been a topsy-turvy sort of error-filled start to the second set. Let's see who's going to take control. Oh, nice work. Splits the middle. Slight hesitation from Fleming. Johnson at full stretch, and it's Namo's Naus that gets it done. 7-6. Last point before the change as the breeze picks up from the east. Swing from right to left as you watch the screen, and that's going to be another service error. Changing ends, seven all. Beautiful view from the top of the Mollymook little embankment on the beautiful green hill. Natural amphitheatre off the back of the beach here. Some nice rolling waves to the right-hand side. So your broadcast end is what I can see as well. Oh, they did all the right things to stay alive but couldn't quite get that last touch over. 
Ah, Georgia Johnson. Nice serve, catching the pass a little too high. She creeps in, gets the easy free ball. High set, off pace hit. Jess almost delaying that one a little. Seemingly on the way down. Maybe just overcooked the, the set and the breeze took it a little bit. She wasn't necessarily put off, but it did put off her opponents and she sent the easy winner down nonetheless. Two point advantage now, 9-7. Serve hits Johnson low. They get it back, but it's still a free ball option. Touch, stretch, winner, Namo Laird. Business getting done from Laird and Namo, the number four seeds. And that's going to find us having a short break with a timeout being called from the number two seeds. Fleming and Johnson finding themselves three point in arrears and trailing. One set to love. Australian Beach Volleyball Tour will also be taking place on Coolangatta Beach, Queensland. Don't forget, the 25th to the 27th of March. Nominations close Friday the 11th of March. So please do yourself a favour and get them in. Then you'll be able to watch the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour finals at Volley Slam on SBS On Demand. Women's bronze at 11.30am and men's bronze at 12.30pm. Then... Chuck the TV on because SBS Live will have the men's and women's uh, gold medal matches as well. Go, then we'll go into the Australian Youth Beach Volleyball Championships at Coolangatta Beach, 28th to the 31st of March, live via the Oz Volley YouTube channel, which is where you'll find us right now. And the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour, sorry, Australian Vo Beach Volleyball Schools go, Cup, also at Coolangatta, a couple of days later, 28th to the 31st of March. Nominations close Monday, 14th. Led and Namo ser serving up a storm here after that first time out being called by their opponents. Johnson came back with a vengeance, crushed one, but uh, it's back on it's back on Nikki's terms here. As Jasmine and Georgia have changed sides, but they still go for Johnson. She gets it down in the sand eventually as Nikki goes for a bit of a sunbake. And we're going to go for a quick break once again, but this time it's by way of the tech time out. The unspoilt Shoalhaven. What a magnificent part of the country we find ourselves in. Molly Mook, we thank you and the Shoalhaven Shire Council for all of your help working with Volleyball Australia and the New South Wales government.
along with Hancock Prospecting as well as Scape and the AIS. We are back here on centre court. It's Jasmine Fleming with the ball, ready to serve. They find themselves three points in arrears, the number two seeds. As she serves to Nikki Laird. Great hand set from Jess. Off the top of the block. And a nice, easy winner straight after the tech timeout. In the throngs of passion and exaltation, what a point. Jess Namo finds herself all over the court. Same with Georgia Johnson. And it's the one ball finding the open, vacant part of the back of the court. Done. In one. Johnson and Fleming peg one back. They hit double figures. Ten serving, 14. Johnson's got it in a head. Led sends it wide. Here we go. This is going to be good. Pumping them out. Jasmine looked like she was all over it, but just couldn't quite get that left hand around to wrap it. Namo crouches, ready to pounce, and happy with that. She'll rectify that in quick, quick fashion, I suspect. But there's a lot of pressure coming from Laird and Namo. And it's the former's serve that's doing the damage at the moment. She sends it back to Johnson. Nice swing. Just getting the blocker and defender maybe a little bit off foot, or at least on the back foot. Thirteen serving seventeen. Little bit of work to be done here. What can they muster? Can they must do it? Hot spot right there once again. We know we love it. We know it. If you've been watching all weekend, you know that that is the spot on this court to hit every time. Serve there, hit there. And if you're defending, get in that spot. Five-point lead, bronze medal, 
up for grabs. Laird with a short serve. And Fleming with another tight set. Nikki Laird's basically doing it on the proverbial. 19-13. Little jump float. You can see her peeking into the side of your screen. There she is. She trails in for the block. Doesn't quite get it. Outstretched, outreached, outplayed. This time from Johnson. Pass, Nikki Led, great hands, Jess Namo, deep corner, too long. There's another point back for the number two seeds. Can they peg him back slowly but surely, one at a time? Had a couple of three set matches in this tournament. Can they take it to a third? They've got a Herculean effort to come up against this with. Five match points and a change of ends. Maybe just a little bit of time to discuss things and get things a little bit more uh, in their favour. But nonetheless, they s find themselves staring down the barrel of a five-point deficit. And all of those five points are bronze medal point. One. Johnson with it. She often serves from the very, very dead centre of court. Just slightly off centre now. Ooh, nice. Nice save. Another one, that is. So three points to, to get done now. Actually, quite a good pass from Nikki Laird. I didn't mean to sound so surprised. But uh, put it exactly where she wanted. Now she's back on that dead centre. Serves Laird anyway. And a shank this time. So perfect pass into a shank. And we're going to go into a timeout. Level heads. Have a quick break. Two bronze medal points still for Laird and Namo coming back after this timeout. Brought to you by Hancock Prospecting, the AIS, and Makasa. Not to mention Volleyball Australia. What a setup they are. Molly Mook's got the action now for round two of the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. This is the Women's Elite Division bronze medal match, and it is two bronze medal points for Laird and Namo. Fleming and Johnson already saving three of them. Can they continue on their merry way and put some pressure on the number four seeds? Serve Laird again. She runs around this time. Gets the angle. Somehow Fleming bumps that one up. And we're still in play. Swing goes wide. Way to stay in the points, girls. Fleming and Johnson. Woo. Woo. Johnson. Serving up a storm. A primal reaction. A scream. What she got last? What she got next? One bronze medal point to save again. They go high line. Johnson kicks the sand away, but she does it with a smile on her face like she usually does. But it's Nikki Laird and Jess Namo with the bronze medal. Congratulations, girls. Welcome back to the sand. Your number four seeds take out the number three position with a bronze medal around their necks. Nikki Laird and Jess Namo. Congratulations, girls. What a set of volleyball that turned out to be just toward the end there. As we 
Just wipe down the court somewhat and get some surrounds with our Volleyball Australia. Cam going around. Look at that Molly McHill. Beautiful. There's Benny Abbott. He's a monster on the decks. And now he's found himself as the man on the sand as we clean up the court, ready for the men's gold medal match coming up next. We'll adjust the net. We'll fix the court. We'll fix the lines and we'll get the crowd all fixed and ready and raring to go as well. Just to recap, a two sets to love victory for Nikki Laird and Jess Namo. 21-19 in the end in that second set. It was uh, potentially going to be a little bit of a blowout, but that comeback from Fleming and Johnson almost, almost sent it to a third and deciding set. But to no avail. But it's Nikki and Jess to add an Australian Beach Volleyball to uh, bronze to their resumes. And what they were able to do after not playing Cobram and coming back for their first, first matches this summer on the Australian tour, they've done incredibly well. We might be able to get a quick word with them at a later stage, but not today. <laughs> 